Hello and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video. We are on 7.3 public test server, so this is not quite live yet when the video comes out, but it'll be coming out probably within a couple months. Hopefully everybody's been enjoying the double XP that we've had since May the 4th. It ends May 18th. And of course there's a 50% off collections unlock sale if you didn't realize that. We are looking at a secret achievement here. So there's he's just a little guy, find the very tiny Moavor. And then there is Can I Really Keep Him, which is the one we're going to be focusing on. Yeah, really nice. Like him. So the first thing we're going to want to be clicking on Voss on the Galaxy map, and we're going to want to go to the Interpreter's Retreat. So right now I'm on a toon whose first time being on this instance loading into this landing zone, so I've got to go find the mission board. Alright, so we're going to go to the mission board here. I'm just going to pick up everything, and we're going to pick up some supplies in the city for the first mission we need to while we're here, we can go to the specialty nutrients vendor because we're going to need an item called powerful nutrients off of this vendor. And right now the cost of that is 1 million credits and 3,000 tech fragments. And we'll just finish picking up a few more things for the quest here. And in the camp a little bit before leaving the city will be the final items that we need to grab. Alright, from here we can just jump off the cliff or go down on the road, whatever way you prefer. And we're going to be heading up to this top area of the map here where you can see that there's the Gormak Worker Camp, as well as right now there's the Deliver the Supplies objective. So as I mentioned before, if this is the first time your character's been on the Interpreter's Retreat, you need to complete this mission first. And if it's not your first time, you'll be able to go over to this Worker Order board and pick up the required mission without doing any other missions. So we're going to grab a Cantina in Crisis and we're going to head on inside. Here we are on the map, so you know where we're going. So once inside of the cantina here, you can choose to do all of the objectives if you want to complete it, but you don't have to if all you're trying to do right now is get this achievement completed. So we're going to wander around the cantina and we are looking for an item that we can pick up that has basically a sack of meat that's been abandoned. So it's called Discarded Vorantis Steak. Yeah, that's what it's called. That's the item we need. There is another item in here called the Abandoned Order, which has a to-go meal and that's used for another secret achievement. Okay, so there's one more item we need to get. This one I found coming out just from the cantina. It's not too far away here. You'll usually find these sitting at the base of trees. There's quite a few around the map, so a peppery slime gourd. So we now have our discarded brant steak, whatever it is, and a peppery slime gourd. And we can right-click the powerful nutrients to combine this into the Mavor Chow. Now, while it is important to note that the powerful nutrients do have approximately a 24-hour cooldown, we can do a little bit of collecting the extra materials so if we select our Cantina in Crisis mission and we hit the reset button and head back on inside, you'll be able to pick up additional Veranta steaks so you don't have to keep coming in here every day that you want to do the mission, and you can just stockpile a few of them. Now, do note that there's a two minute cooldown on resetting the mission. Okay, so now I'm going to travel back to the city and I'll show you where to get the pet, where to find him, get the first achievement, and how we're actually going to be feeding him. So back in the middle of town, we're just going to go past the specialty nutrients vendor and we're just going to go down this little back alleyway here. You can see it on the map. And then in the back here, you're going to get the achievement if you haven't already come and found this guy on one of your characters. And we get a temporary ability bar, which as long as we've got the chow in our inventory, we can feed him with it. And that will progress our achievement by one more. As you can see, I no longer have any chow in my inventory, so I can't feed him again and I'm locked out. But I can log into another tune as this achievement is tracked legacy wide and I can progress it faster than one feeding per day. As always, have a great day, hope you guys enjoy, and enjoy getting your tiny Mavor pet once it becomes live, 7.3, probably in a couple months. <laughs>